Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Matt and this is How Success is Made. And today I'm going to share with you a super important premise that you need to implement in your life. And if you implement it in your life today, your life will drastically be different in the future. And that is paying yourself first. You may have heard a lot of entrepreneurs, self-made millionaires talk about this premise and all of them do it. I originally learned the idea from reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad in 2000. 2009. This is when I started all this stuff and he talked about paying yourself first But what I'm realizing is I didn't necessarily know what it meant at the time uh, I, No one really explained it to me and I just kind of came up with my own thoughts of what it was But when I started doing it, I started learning What exactly it meant and how to do it? And that, so that's what I'm going to share with you guys today, why it's important to pay yourself first, what it actually means to pay yourself first, and then how exactly to do it. So first off, paying yourself first, what it really means is putting money aside for yourself before anybody else, which includes your bills, your mortgage company, your credit card company, your car insurance, your car anybody else you set money aside and you don't touch it for anything uh, except for yourself even if you have bills due even if you have credit creditors calling you asking you for money even if you have people threatening to sue you or take away your stuff you don't touch that money it's for you and this is important especially when you don't have anything if you can build the discipline to put money aside and never touch it, even in the hardest times, the times you're struggling the most, that builds financial discipline. And financial discipline is super important if you ever wanna be a millionaire. Uh, it's super important because, you know, if you can't not touch 10% of your money, no matter what, when all you have is you know, a little car, a house, you know, you're just getting started out in this millionaire mindset. What makes you think that you can discipline yourself with money when you own huge businesses and private jets and Lamborghinis and Ferraris and mansions, you know, if you want to be a millionaire, what makes you think you could discipline yourself enough to hold that money if you can't even do it when you're in a situation like you are in now? So another point to make is all the bills and stuff that you're paying, your mortgage, your car, your phone, those are all things, if you think about it, all of those things are for you. Everything you're paying for is for you. It's to improve your lifestyle somehow, whether it's paying for a car, paying for a house, using credit cards to buy yourself things, paying for a phone to help you guys out, electricity, all of it is for you. So if all those bills are for you in some sort of way, why wouldn't you make the most important bill of all the one that's directly contributed to you? Not the phone company that helps you out or not the car that helps you out, not the house that helps you out. Why wouldn't you make the most important bill the one you pay yourself? And so it's really important to get that. It's, it's so important to pay yourself first. And like I said, uh, if you can do it in the toughest times where you're struggling and you can avoid like the creditors and the people threatening to sue you and take your stuff away and stuff, uh, like if you can discipline yourself to still have money set aside and not give in and not pull from that and give it to someone else, if you can discipline yourself to do that over time, your financial situation will be fantastic. Like it has changed my life drastically. Um, so uh, I wanna share with you a little bit about exactly how to do that and what I'd recommend to do. I learned this from T. Harv Eker. I've kind of modified it um, through the years of modifying it for myself, um, but always always, always pay yourself first, no matter what situation you're in. I cannot stress that enough. If you do this, what I'm about to share with you, if you do this, I promise you, if you do this for 
just give yourself three months or something. I promise you at the end of the three months, you will have more money set aside than you have in a long time of you not doing this. It's insane. Also, I'd measure it by the way. So this is how I would suggest paying yourself first. This is T. Harvecker method. Uh, first off, you need to manage your money. You need to know how much you have, how much is coming in, and how much is going out and what you're paying for. You need to manage it. You need to balance your checkbook, as they say. And you'd be surprised. A lot of people don't do this and don't know how to do it. It may sound simple to some of you guys, but I'm, I guarantee you not everybody knows how to do this or what to do. So it's really easy. All you need to do, make like a Excel spreadsheet or something. That's what I have. I use Google Sheets and I have a little spreadsheet that just basically shows how much money's coming in and how much is going out. So all you need to do, you could even start with something simple like, uh, you know, every time, I, I would actually start with once a week, manage your finances. So what you're gonna do is make an Excel spreadsheet put, or you can write it down on a piece of paper if you don't know how to use Excel or whatever, just write down how much you made that week. And sometimes it's nothing, sometimes it's some, and then write down everything you've paid for. And go, go through your bank statements and just write down everything you pay for, add it all up, uh, and it will tell you a total of the expenses you made and the income you've earned. Now the goal is, for your income to exceed your monthly expenses, right? Uh, that's how you start making money. So first off, you need to measure any of this stuff to do that. So measure it, you can learn how to do that, um, use Excel or whatever, but uh, so paying yourself first, how much do you set aside? What exactly is it used for? That's what I'm gonna share with you right now. So the most important thing that the, there's two accounts that the most important things you need to set aside first and uh, is your financial freedom account and your play account. So financial freedom and play. Now, what I would suggest is putting 10% of all your earnings into financial freedom and 10% into play. I would go to your bank and open up two accounts or two more sub accounts or something and uh, open up, call one your financial freedom account and call one your play account. That's how I have it. I have a bunch of sub accounts on my bank account and I can see their name is play, financial freedom, tithing, all this stuff. Uh, I'll go over those later, but this is what you want to start out with. So uh, what it is, is this is how I would suggest to start. 80% of everything you make goes to your essentials, which is what you're paying for now. All your bills, your food, your insurance, everything you're paying for goes to essentials that comes out of the essentials account. These you don't touch for anything else except for the purposes that they're allocated for. So 80% of everything you make, use. 20% of everything that you make, divide into these two accounts. This is how I would start. I'm not gonna, in fact, I'm, I don't even know if I'll give you the rest, but just do this. And so let me explain to you what these are. So you may not know now what you're going to invest in, but financial freedom, this account is specifically allocated for money you spend to make more money. It's investments. It's basically money you set aside to spend on things that can create a passive income for you. And I've explained what a passive income is. It's basically, uh, you're not working for money. You're just earning money from something you've created something you've done, like a business, something you've created or something you've invested in. You're just earning money passively, residually. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's what passive income is. And your financial freedom account, all this money that is accumulated in the financial freedom account, it's only used to create passive income. Don't use it for anything else. 
If you're paying for things that don't contribute to you making more money uh, directly, this, don't use this account for anything else. Your play account, this is really important, is for you to go and have fun. It's for you to go out and eat. It's for you to go to the movies. It's for you to buy things that you want for yourself. Uh, that's what the play account is. And let me stress, this is super important. Some of you may think, oh man, you know, I'd rather just roll my money into, you know, everything to make more money or, you know, I'd rather not do that. I don't have time to play. Let me tell you why this account is important and why you need both of these. Uh, the play account offsets the financial freedom account. The reason is if you don't allocate money for yourself to have fun with yourself and have a good time, uh, sooner or later, if you're just spending all your money putting it into financial freedom and on bills and stuff, sooner or later, you're going to crack and you're going to get sick of not enjoying life, which by the way, enjoying your life is what you should do always, always. Like you don't, don't wait until a certain time because that time may never come. Enjoy your life now. Enjoy everything you're doing. Enjoy the process, enjoy the things you're doing, enjoy everything, and work towards things that you can enjoy in the future. So, the play account is to offset the financial freedom account. Sooner or later, you're gonna crack if you just do this stuff, and all the work that you put into saving, let's say you go two or three months without playing, and you're like, well, I am so sick of not doing anything and just working all the time. Uh, you're gonna crack and you're gonna be like, you know what, maybe I'll just buy myself a little something and do this little thing. And then you're gonna start pulling from your financial freedom account or your essentials for things that you play on. And then all this work, maybe you spent three months, you've gathered you know, $3,000 or something in this account and you've worked three months and all of it is just gone because you weren't enjoying yourself. So all the hard work, all the money you put aside, it's gone because you got sick of not enjoying your life. So that's why the play account is super important. It's to offset the financial freedom. Also, you should be, you should be enjoying your life all the time. And so with the play account, there's some requirements for it. With the play account, you have to spend all the money in the account every month. Uh, there shouldn't be anything left over at the end of the month in this account you are required to enjoy your life. You're required to spend money on yourself. You're working hard. Think of it as a reward for putting 10% aside in financial freedom. You're like, I'm awesome. I deserve a little bit. Go out to eat with your friends. You know, go to the movies. You know, do fun things for yourself. Go rock climbing. It's one thing we did recently. It was pretty cool. But anyway, so this is the breakdown I would do. So when you receive a check or any money that you get uh, before you do anything before you pay any bills anything as soon as that money reaches your hands divide it into these accounts this is how i do it the money comes into my bank account and as soon as it comes in i go into my bank account and i hit uh, transfer transfer and i transfer 10 percent into my financial freedom and 10 percent in my financial play 10% being like, you know, I get $750, uh, just take off the zero, that's 10%. So it's really easy to calculate. You don't have to do any fancy math or anything. You get $100, take off a zero, it's $10. You get $1,000, take off a zero, it's $100. Anyway, um, but yeah, take 10% of the money you make and divide it into financial freedom and then another 10% into your play. Your play, you have to spend all of it during the month, enjoy yourself, enjoy everything you're doing. You gotta enjoy your life. And 10% into financial freedom, these will be investments, things that you'll need to invest in in the future. If you just do this, super simple, just do this, your life will change drastically. And I know some of you, I could hear some of you through the video right now saying, but I don't have 20% my paycheck can't, 20% of my paycheck? Do you realize I need that money for things? Like, you can't expect me to put 20% aside. Let me go back to this. You 
have to. If you cannot discipline yourself to pay yourself first, that's always going to be your excuse. That's always going to be your situation and you're never going to get out of it. This money is put aside for you to get out of that situation. You cannot afford to not put money aside for yourself, for financial freedom. Because if, if that is your excuse, if you're saying, but I need all the money I can get because I'm super broke and you know, I can't put 20% of my money set aside uh, right now like I need every cent I have. If you can't do that, you need to do this more than ever. If, if you can't, you must. Tony Robbins says that. If you can't, you must. It's so true though. Discipline yourself to put money aside and no matter what you do, don't touch it. it you'll figure it out. I'm telling you, I've been through this. Believe me, it's stressful at first, especially if you're using 100% of your paycheck to do everything. There are things, believe me, you can cut back on. And when you start doing this stuff and start not touching this money and pretending like it doesn't exist, pretending like you don't have it, you will either find ways to make more money, work more hours, or do something to start a project, do little services on the side. Uh, you'll find a way to either make more money or you'll find a way to save the money that you're making, spend less money so that it's down to 80%. I'm telling you, you can do it. Please, 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 if you feel like you can't do this, you must do it. You must do it. This is exactly what it takes for you to get out of that situation of feeling like you can't do it. So super important to pay yourself first. As soon as the money hits your account, transfer it into those two accounts, pretend like it doesn't exist. Don't touch it except for what they're used for. Uh, oh, and by the way, let me tell you something about the play account. It's such a good feeling to have money. When I started this, this was the most amazing thing. It's such a good feeling to have money set aside for you to just enjoy yourself. Because before, before I had money set aside, before I had a play account, I would spend my essentials and stuff and I'd go out to eat I didn't necessarily allocate any amount of money, certain amount of money to play. Let, let me tell you this. Uh, I'd go out to eat and because I didn't have any money and because I didn't have any money set aside, you kind of feel bad for, at least this is my situation, you feel bad for spending money, especially when you're in a financial stressful situation uh, like I was. Um, and you go out with your friends and even just going to like Taco Bell or something and you're sliding that card, it's like, oh, I know I shouldn't be buying this. Oh, I know this is bad for me. Oh, I know I shouldn't be doing this. Oh, I need this money for rent, for utilities, for anything. I just don't have enough this month, but you're still going out to eat. You're still enjoying yourself because you have to. You have to. Your enjoyment is life. You have to enjoy your life. Uh, but that feeling like, I would go out and enjoy myself and it didn't even feel good. Like I'd go out and I'd just worry and stress about the money. I'd go out to eat, I'd go out to the movies and I'd be like, oh man, I shouldn't be spending this money. Oh, it's, oh my God. And you get this feeling. Or same with like going to the grocery store or something. Like you walk out of there with like a hundred bucks full of groceries and you're like, oh, and it pains you. You should feel good about spending money. All the money you spend is for you. You gotta think about it in a reverse sort of way. Like, oh my God, when you pay your phone bill, like, oh man, I can't believe for $100, I have access to any information in the world at any moment in time, just from my pocket. I can communicate with anyone at any moment in time. Think about what it's getting you for 100 bucks a month. And some of you are paying less, some of you are paying more, I understand that, but just look at what the value it's bringing to you. It's amazing the value you get. You, you wouldn't be buying the stuff if you didn't feel like it gave you some sort of value. So focus on the value, don't focus on the cost, okay? Um, you should feel good about going to the grocery store. Like, oh my God, for a hundred bucks, I don't have to go and like, just I, I just exchange a hundred bucks for like a week's worth of food. And like, I don't have to go and hunt and spend all my time hunting and gathering and getting nuts for the tribe. It's amazing the life we live in. You could just exchange. It's so incredible. But my point is, before I did this play account, I felt 
pretty bad spending money. I'd spend it and be like, oh God, oh, I shouldn't be spending this. Oh, I need this for something else. I need this for bills or something. And it didn't even feel good to have fun. With this, as soon as you start doing this, it feels amazing. Cause then you look in this account and you have like 40 bucks or something. It doesn't have to be a lot. You have like 40 bucks and you're like, holy crap, I could go, go eat. I could go have dinner somewhere. And like you slide that card, that play account card that you've created for yourself and you slide that card and it feels so good because you're like, you know what? This is what this money is meant for. So feels great. Uh, so I ask you guys, always pay yourself first. Super important. 80% of your money should go into essentials, 10% into financial freedom and 10% into play. This is investments, things. And you know what? If you don't just, just accumulate money, Humor me. And that's what I did. I didn't know what I was going to do with this money for like a year. Uh, and But I still put 10% aside into it. And then when the time came where I found something that I wanted to, some business opportunity that I wanted to try, actually it was the Kindle books, uh, to get books written for me and like do this stuff. Um, when I found that business opportunity, it was incredible because I had like thousands of dollars set aside just for that and I knew what I wanted to do. So it, it's, it's amazing. Do it. This is just do it for like three or four months. Tell me if, if your life does not change, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're doing wrong because it will change. This is from some of the most financially successful business people, millionaires, billionaires in the world. This small tactic is what they do. So if it doesn't work for you, you're doing something wrong or maybe I taught it wrong. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me and uh, always pay yourself first. Do the split for three or four months. Tell me if it doesn't change your life. Uh, if you have any questions below, please comment and I will answer them and uh, give the video a thumbs up for me. Thanks, guys. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.